same delivery. Maguire is there, and Maguire scores! He cannot stop scoring for Sheffield United. The Blades top scorer does it again. The central defender is being played on side by Marcus Bean there. And he heads his fifth of the campaign and his third in as many games. And Colchester not to be in control here. Okuongai, oh, he's robbed by Porter. And Colchester are in big trouble here. Miller's in the middle. Oh, it's going in. It must be an own goal. It will go down as a Sam Walker own goal, I'm sure of it. I think there was a double deflection there, but the last touch came after Eastman had directed it back to the goalkeeper, Walker. It does come off Eastman, but the final touch is Walker's. It will go down as an own goal by the Chelsea Loney. Plenty of space here for Matt Hill, who goes for goal. Oh, what an effort! It's a lick of paint away from winning this tie for Sheffield United inside the first half. Here's Garber. Good-looking delivery. There's Bomb. 2-1. The comeback is on. The early goal was just what Colchester required. And it's come from the 18-year-old. A fantastic diving header. He marks his first senior start with a goal. Plenty of bodies forward for Sheffield United here. McMahon's round the back. Oh, what a miss! Chris Porter had the goal at his mercy there. For once, the footballing gods were smiling on Walker. Time starting to get on for Colchester. Hill nods that one away. Here's Garbutt. He can hit them. And did! Oh, what a goal from Luke Garbutt! He's having a fantastic game, the Everton Loney, and he's just grabbed an equaliser as Colchester come from two goals down to level at 2-2. Fabulous hit from Garber. Chipped in the direction of Porter. Fine save by Walker. He's kept Colchester in it there. Big high hanging delivery. Oh, that looked like handball by a guy. And the referee points to the spot. Penalty to Sheffield United. It's a controversial one, but why were his arms so high? Porter scores for Sheffield United. And with nine minutes remaining, Chris Porter's first goal of the season restores the Blades lead. And it looks like Nigel Clough's side will be going into the second round of the FA Cup. Apar making a real nuisance of himself, almost on the toes of Long, the Sheffield United goalkeeper. It's a pass turn, and Cambridge United claiming that they should have had a penalty kick here for a handball by Collins. Cody. Now Baxter! It's a really good effort by Jose Baxter. Cody. Here's Flynn. Taking on Taylor. And Baxter! Sheffield United in front. Jose Baxter, who made the FA Cup competition his own last season, as he helped Oldham Athletic to the fifth round with an unerring finish. Struck that so well, having been set up by Ryan Flynn. Now there's a chance for Cambridge United to counter with Harrison Dunk. It's Cunnington! Defied by Long. Excellent goalkeeping by the 20-year-old George Long then to keep out that attempt by Adam Cunnington. United continuing to press for an equaliser. Oh, was that a hard ball by Lapping? And not for the first time, Cambridge's appeals have been turned down by Oliver Langford, the referee. 
and it's another big shout. Lapin doing his best to charge down the cross. Good save by Long. Dunk again. Oh, a handball again, was it, by Maguire? Chance that was having been set up by Lapin. It should be 2 0. Helped on by Lapin. Now Murphy on as a first half substitute. And Murphy surely has put the game beyond the reach of the non league outfit. Wonderful goal by Jamie Murphy, who had the presence of mind to cut inside and to finish and surely that has finished off Cambridge United in the FA Cup it's 2-0 to Sheffield United between them Aston Villa and Sheffield United have won the FA Cup 11 times nowadays though the Blades are facing a relegation fight from the third tier of English football even so they stunned the Premier Leaguers when Jamie Murphy's deflected shot left Jed Steer helpless 20 minutes in Paul Lambert had suggested that Villa could do without the cup but his side certainly seemed up for it here. They do, however, need Christian Benteke to rediscover some form. He's gone 12 games without a goal now. The last was in September. After the break, United were on the hunt for a second. Ryan Flynn felt confident enough to shoot from range here, forcing Steer to parry. A slightly changed Villa lineup were not at their naturally fluid best. This effort from Mark Albrighton probably wasn't the intention, but it still forced George Long into his first real save of the game. Ben Teke was the next to threaten, but once again the big Belgian was unable to capitalise on his chance. This rather weak effort, easy work for Long. Eventually, however, the equaliser came with 15 to play. United couldn't clear their lines, and Andy Vyman's deflected shot was gratefully picked up by Nicholas Hellenius, a first goal for the club for the Great Dane. But the Blades were a constant thorn in the Villa side and Flynn the sharpest of the lot. This long-range effort was always curling away, but the warnings had been served enough and having twice come close, Flynn capped off a memorable afternoon with a goal befitting his performance. United ending the day with a 2-1 win, a famous scalp and a place in round four. Here comes Collins. And his central defensive partner Harry Maguire is eager to get forward too. It's a good run by Maguire. There's Porter! Sheffield United take the lead. And it was the fact that the two central defenders joined in the attack that gave Sheffield United the opening. Porter onside, getting away from Senderos and touching the ball past a helpless David Stockdale. Doyle, it's careless, given away to Tankovic. Here's Roddy Yeager, goes down. No penalty, says the referee. Well, it seemed pretty clear cut. Roddy Yeager got the ball, goalkeeper got the man. Senderos. Karagunis and Chris David is down for Fulham. And Andre Mariner is picking out Michael Doyle. And the back pocket is usually bad news. Sheffield United skipper is sent off. And this is why that little kick out at David off the ball. Ryan Flynn scored the winner at Villa Park in the last round for Sheffield United. And he's up to his tricks again here. He goes over. Andre Mariner says no. Echoes of the first half. And that too seems like a clear penalty. Roddy Yeager. Tarabt. Tankovic, the young Swede. Roddy Yeager with a chance and an equalising goal for Premier League Fulham. Considerable relief. It arrives with 15 minutes to play. Roddy Yeager took aim, fired, located the bottom corner. 
Roddy Yeager. Tarrapt. Damien Duff. Letting fly off Rayford. And goalkeeper Long making sure at the base of that near post. Kasami. There's Sender off. Looping header off the crossbar. A good chance, but he didn't meet it particularly cleanly. Tarapt, full and pressing strongly here for a winner. Kasami, Roddy Yeager, bent back to Senderos. Kasami, bent, and all of them missed. The worst culprit, though, was the last one, Darren Bent. The last thing Fulham really wants is a replay, but it's looking increasingly likely. Tankovic comes for Tarab, deflected and only just wide. This is going to end all square at one apiece and is heading for a replay at Craven Cottage in ten days' time. Brayford. Yes. Sheffield United beginning this replay very much on the front foot. And there's Murphy with a chance. Not so very far wide from the right boot of Jamie Murphy. Does like to come into more central positions off that left flank. And gets his share of goals. Certainly enough to worry the goalkeeper Stockdale, who was racing across to cover the post. Raider Hangerland. Asami's layoff for Scott Parker. Roddy Yeager and Dempsey, probably the most coherent, cohesive piece of football that either side has produced so far. Dempsey having to take it on the run and couldn't control the shot. Launched by Howard. This is Flynn, match winner in the last round at Villa Park for Sheffield United. Good depth on the cross, there's Murphy! Well, the two best Sheffield United opportunities have both fallen now to Jamie Murphy. One on the floor and one in the air. Kasami. And up went Burn. And it's cleared finally by Bob Harris. Difficult man to defend against, Dan Burn. Six foot seven in height. Sheffield United more worried about the second ball. It's Harris to strike it. Not too far beyond the angle of post and bar. Bob Harris, the new recruit, signed from Blackpool. Nice shape on it. De Jagger, weather conditions deteriorating here. Damien Duff. And a slice on that, and it required the save from Mark Howard. Defender took a swing and it could have gone anywhere. Threat from Fulham is only sporadic, mind you. Tankovic. Balance the Swedish teenager and the shot. But had Howard a little concerned. It was well struck. Mama Tankovic enjoying the spotlight. Energy sapping conditions. He looks to go into extra time. This is Brayford. And Brayford's allowed to run all the way through the middle. Smart save by Stockdale. No way should the right back of Sheffield United have been allowed to advance into that sort of position, virtually unopposed. Sidwell. Kasami sliced it, rather. Came off the outside of that left boot. Always swinging away from goal, rather than back in. Baxter with it. Maguire. Sheffield United have won it! 119 minutes on the 
cross. And the Blades are heading into the fifth round of the FA Cup. Sean Miller, the cup specialist, off the bench, onto the Champions score sheet. Desperate disappointment Sean for Miller. Fulham, who returned to their relegation battle. But for Sheffield United, sheer delight. And they will host Preston or Nottingham Forest in the last 16 of this year's FA Cup. Andy Reid. With that cultured left foot. Henderson's header towards Cox. Well, a clear for a penalty, and Michael Oliver says no. It was Harry Maguire who came in on Cox after Henderson's flick and did have his arms in the back of the striker there. Might have got away with one, Sheffield United. Yara. It's a really good ball for Halford. Well, that's a nice piece of skill, and he's gone for the volley. And he did play as a striker around Christmas time. Scored in three successive games, so he's not your average fullback, Greg Halford. All Forest at the moment. Majewski. Fox. This is Reed. And that's Patterson, and that's one more Forest. Perfectly angled header from Jamie Patterson. He got a hat trick at, against West Ham in the third round and he's at it again doesn't get many with his head either perfectly placed absolutely no chance for Howard he smiles Billy Davis no wonder Reed Patterson oh that's a decent save by Howard it came at a comfortable height and it still needed stopping Effort. Halford with the long throw. Boy didn't get much of that. Still bobbling dangerously. That's a fine stop. As Cox hit that really fiercely. And Howard reacted extremely well. That was a better save than the first one. Couldn't get it clear, United. Brayford. This is much better for Sheffield United. Brayford again. Well, the goalkeeper's lost it, and Cody will knock it into an empty net. And they are level. It's a nightmare for De Vries. But 20 year old Connor Cody's on loan from Liverpool. Reacted very well, got it out of his feet, and the rest was easy. The Greens will not want to see that again. They really should have held it. Harris. He's worth a running at Reed and he's got past him as well. Halford sliding in. Was that a hand? It was. Penalty Sheffield United. What a potential turnaround here. Michael Oliver had a great view of that. And he's got it absolutely right. Chris Crawford has just come on, it's his first touch and it finishes in the back of the Forest net and the Blades now are just minutes from a place in the quarterfinals. A nerveless penalty from Chris Porter. Saw De Vries commit and slid it the other way. And the chance to turn it forward then Forest, they've given it back to Sheffield United and to Murphy he's round the back it's a tap in for Porter and that is that they were a goal down for three quarters of the contest Porter has got two in as many minutes absolutely astonishing the League One strugglers have just cemented a place in the FA Cup quarterfinals Who'd have believed it? Poyet for Wilson. Wilson's ball in, it's come down for Tutke. Now it's done well to get across. Danger's not clear. 
Of all the people who'd love to score at Bramall Lane, it's the former Wednesday man. Out by Baxter, out by Jackson. Chase back forward and it's come out for Brayford. And here is Connor Cody! No, no, the flag is up. His joy was short-lived. It was Brayford who forced it forward, and at that moment, Cody is offside. It's a good call from the referee's assistant. Out steps Maguire. Great adventure from the centre-half. Murphy, Wilson backpedalling. Murphy and Harris! That's a decent crack from the fullback. Terrific enterprise from the League One team. Watched out as far as Skugel. This is Maguire! Sharp turn from a big centre half. Harry Maguire with sweet feet. Jackson. And Tudke! And Harriet all! Was that Charlton's moment? Callum Harriet in front of a gaping goal. Todd Gay had taken Howard out of the equation. And at full stretch, he just couldn't steer it the right side of the post. Agonising. Harris. Baxter. And in towards Flynn! Blades breakthrough! Ryan Flynn with 25 minutes to play! Again, good quality on Baxter's ball. And Flynn tiptoed in almost unnoticed. Behind Wiggins. And here they come again. Wind in their sail. New mood about Bramall Lane. Murphy. And Brayford. Brayford's hit two. Two in a choice. And they're nearly there. Unbridled joy at Bramall Lane. Brayford with a cruel deflection from Charlton's viewpoint. Wood knew nothing of it. He knows now that Charlton have a mountain to climb. Flynn brilliantly worked with Brayford. Baxter! It's a good block from Harriet. Cody. Baxter stumbled. And it's come back off the post and Cody's in again! And is offside again. All sorts of ricochets and bumps. But at the key moment, he was indeed Cody just the wrong side. Charlton with desperation now, flung in at Tudgate. Guchanajad! Brilliant from Howard. There's no beating him. There is surely now no beating Sheffield United. They will go to Wembley. Impenetrable, excellent. Let's oh, wow. go. Oh, wow. How are you? Hello, oh, How are you? Very well, how are you? Nice to see you. Chef, you had it. Hello, boys. How are you? How are you? Are you okay?
Sheffield United with 14 goals scored in their seven FA Cup games. Top scorers of the four semi-finalists. Cross in by Brave, but it's in! It's Jose Baxter! The League One side take the lead! Oh, they've gone potty in the Sheffield United end! A dream start for the Blades! Nicely worked by Livermore. Here goes Sackbo! It's the equaliser for Hull City! Out of nothing, really. Yannick Sackbo with his second FA Cup goal of the season. And we're all square at Wembley. How will that change the dynamics of the game? Here's Murphy. He's got away from Rossini. Oh, a chance and a goal! It's Skugel who strikes. Straight away, Sheffield United are back in front. Can you believe it? Huddleston's corner. It is Davis. Sagbo. And Fry it! Some impact from the half-time substitute. It's taken him just three and a half minutes to equalise for Hull City. Huddleston. Again, fascinatingly poised now. Myler through to Tom Huddleston! Brilliantly taken! Hull City in front for the first time. Tom Huddleston with his first ever FA Cup goal. Myla. Good ball. Livermore is onside. A chance for four. And it's taken. It's the man who's just come on, Stephen Quinn. And is that the goal that takes Hull City back to Wembley for a first ever FA Cup final? Is Bob Harris for Sheffield United. They're not finished yet. A chance and a goal, it's 4-3. Well, maybe it's not over just yet. Murphy pounces in the 90th minute. Here goes El Mohamedy. And here's a chance for Milo. A fifth goal for Hull City, who are heading to their first ever FA Cup final. We certainly couldn't have given any more. Um, we've, we've scored three goals against the Premier League side at Wembley. It's not been enough on the day, uh, but we couldn't ask any more of the players and the whole the whole club on the day. I think it reflects extremely well uh, on us, of, us as a football club. We're unbelievably proud of our supporters today and I hope they're proud of us despite the defeat.